Hello and welcome to my decimals and money tutorial. This video I'm going to show you um, all the different things you have to know about decimals. Here's the basics of decimals. So first thing I want to say is that money and decimals are uh, pretty related. Decimals are, are money is a type of decimals, especially cents. So one quarter. First of all, what do you think when we think one quarter? Well, actually, normally I think about a fraction, not a decimal, right? I think of one over four, one quarter. Or I think about a pie or maybe a pizza divided in four pieces. All of these are thoughts about one quarter. Actually, even the pizza needs to have only one quarter shaded. For it to be one quarter. Otherwise, you really can't the whole pizza just cut up in quarters. But when you're talking about a coin quarter, it actually has a money value. And that money value is exactly 25 cents. A cent comes from a, I think, Greek word, um, century. And maybe you've heard of this before. A century is a uh, hundred years. So cent has to do with the word hundred. So a cent is actually 100 times one cent is one dollar. We'll see this in a second. So if we look right next to this, now we have one quarter, but its value in dollars. So if you look at one cent, one cent is 0 0.01, and that's one cent, and that's equal to 0 0.01 dollar. So now if we just count up, this is two cents, this is three cents, and so on, all the way up until we have 25 cents, which is one quarter of a dollar. We're going to go into this a little bit more. But this is really cool because fractions are decimals. So when we look at this pizza, or we look at this 1 over 4, those are the same thing as this decimal. The other thing to say is that cents are decimals up to the hundredths. You can have a decimal much further than a hundredth. So you can have a decimal going all the way down here, which is a thousandth. Or you can have decimals going even further. There you go. So you have to you have to realize it goes further. But for now, we're just looking at hundredths. <clears throat> okay, let's look at this question here. This is something to show you how not scary decimals actually are, because this is really just an addition and subtraction question. Jimmy the Kid is owed forty three dollars and sixty seven cents because he was selling contraband chocolate bars at school. He wants to throw a party for his friends that will cost $34.45. He really wants to hire a clown, but it would raise the price by $8.25. How much money does he have to spare, and can he hire that clown? Well, let's pull out the important parts. So here's one, here's another, here's another. Usually numbers are important. Sometimes you have to be wary and careful that you don't use numbers that aren't important, and especially now that there's three numbers, we have to be careful about which numbers to use when. But our first question is, how much money does he have to spare after he's paid for the party? So the party cost how much? 34, 45. And he has 43, 67. Actually, let me write this differently. I write it underneath. 34, 45. Okay? So it'll cost that much, which means he'll actually lose that much money. So we'll subtract. If it costs that much, he doesn't, he's going to use up some money. So now we're going to subtract. 7 minus 5 equals 2. 6 minus 4 equals 2. 
And then the really the interesting and cool trick about adding and subtracting decimals is actually we just need to keep the decimals in a line like that. And as long as we keep them in a line, we are actually doing just basically as if we didn't have the decimals at all. Now let's do 3 minus 4. Oh, we can't do that. So we need to borrow 1 from here. I change that to a 3. And borrow 1. So 13 minus 4 equals 9. And now 3 minus 3 equals 0. But if it's a 0 in front, we can actually get rid of it. So 9. 9.22. So is the next part of our question here. Let's see if I can switch the color. Oops. Next part of our question here is, can he hire the clown? Well, how much did the clown cost? It cost this $8.25. So is this enough money, this enough money to pay for the $8.25 clown? Well, yes. $9.25. And 22 cents is bigger than $8.25. So we can hire the clown. And now how much does he have left after that? Doesn't really ask in the question, but let's try it anyway. 9.22, so $9.22 minus $8.25. Oh, he's not going to have much money left, but he will have a little bit. Okay, let's start here at the 2. 2 minus 5. Oh, we can't do that. So we need to steal one from over here. So now 12 minus 5. How much is that? 7. Now we have a 1. 1 minus 2. Can't do that. So we need to borrow one from here. 11 minus 2 is 9. And now we can go 8 minus 8 equals 0. Now, what we should notice here is that I'm actually going to leave this zero because it's a decimal. We do need to have one zero in front of the dot. Okay, so we know how much money he's going to have at the end of that. Perfect. Good job. Okay, here are two different types of questions that are pretty common with fractions and decimals. Change the following fractions into decimals. So when we say that we have a hundred. It's actually basically almost exactly, it, mean, it means exactly this, that we have uh, a fraction. So 3 divided by 100 is just I count the zeros, so 1, 2 zeros. If you count these zeros here, 1, 2, we can put them down, 1, 2, and then we put the 3 down. Okay? As long as we count these zeros, it doesn't matter if we have over a thousand, we can do the same thing. So one, two, three zeros, and a four. And that will work every time. But now we have a slightly more complicated question here. We have four divided by 25. Four divided by 25 is not really easy to do. But if we can get it so it looks the same as this divided by 100 part, then it will be okay. So how can we make this a closer fraction to divided by 100? Well, we can actually make it exactly divided by 100. All we have to do is change the 25 to 100. But we can't just put a 4 there. That's not true. 25 divided by 4 is not the same thing as 100 divided by, or 4 divided by 100. So uh, we have to be careful about this. How much do we multiply 25 by to get 100? Well, we have to multiply by 4. 25 times 4 equals 100. So to get 4 over, we need to do the same thing. This is very similar to, ba to basic algebra where we have the teeter-totter and we have to add something to one side and something to the other side. And it has to be the same thing equal, or else our teeter-totter will fall or raise on one side or the other. And that's not OK. So it needs to be equal. So this equal is like saying that times 4 on this side is the same thing as times 4 
on this side. So 4 times 4 equals 16. And so now we have it in the hundreds. Okay, so now we have to be careful. So we could go with the 1, 2 zeros, and then write 16, but this is going to be wrong because this number is bigger than a single digit number. So now we have to actually be careful, just move it over 1. Okay, so if this is 3 hundredths, this is 16 hundredths. Okay, makes sense so far, hopefully. You change the following decimals into fractions. This is actually way easier, and especially since it did not ask to simplify the fractions, but let's do that anyway. This is 0 0.56. Let's start out by going 5, 6 over 100, because we know that's going to work. Now we want to simplify the fraction. We can divide both by 2. Uh, so let's try that right now, and we will get 28 over 50 if we divide each by 2. I see I can still divide by 2, so I'm going to do it again, over 25, and that is 14. There you go. Can I divide any more? No, they're actually, you can't divide anymore. And if you're confused about this simplifying fractions, you can look at my fractions video as well. Okay, look here at this next one. We've got 8 over 100. And then we're going to do the same thing again. But actually, I can see I can divide by 4 right away. So if I can divide by 4 right away, I can get to 2 over 25 right away. And again, if you're not sure, look at my simplifying fractions video. Over here, I've got my last decimal and money question. Johnny has, let's highlight this, Johnny has $20.68 to share with his brother, and he has to give half of it away. How much does he have left after he has given half of it away? Well, this is division, actually. Division of a decimal. This is becoming slightly more challenging. 20 divided by 2. But actually, it's not so bad as long as this here isn't a decimal. Once this becomes a decimal, funky things happen, and we can't do it as easily. But as long as that's not a decimal, we actually can do this pretty easily. We just need to divide, just like before, as if it did not have the decimal. If we had 2,068 divided by 2, we actually could do it pretty easily. And you can look at my long division if you're not sure about how. Um, but with divide by 2, it's actually super easy. We're just going to go to 10. So 20 divided by 2 is 10, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and here is our answer. So hopefully this video has helped you understand decimals and understand how it works with money, word problems, fractions, all sorts of things. Hopefully this video has helped you out, and good luck in the future.